Kilo, a variable frequency oscillator is an electronic oscillator whose output frequency can be adjusted or varied over a specific range. It generates periodic waveforms whose frequency can be dynamically controlled. VFOs are crucial in a wide range of applications, particularly in communications, testing and signal processing. In one of my previous videos I present a way to make such a device with an ESP32 microcontroller on a color TFT display. This time I will present you a, a, a VFO which according to its characteristics is identical to the previous mentioned one, although it has incomparably simpler code and is made with an Arduino Nano microcontroller. The original device that I present to you in this video is the work of Julio Cesar and all credits go to him. In fact, I made, I made the original device more than a year ago on the SH1106 OLED display which is larger, larger than the SSD1306 but even this display is relatively small and difficult to read. Therefore, I decided with my modest programming experience to rewrite the code for the ST7920 LCD display which is significantly larger with a, vi with a visual area of about 70 on 40 millimeters. Since this display is not supported by the Adafruit uh, GFX library, I use the U8 G2 library in my project with, which currently has support for a huge number of different display types. So by changing, by changing only one line in the code, you could use a related display. This project is sponsored by PCBWay. They have all the services you need to create your project at the best price, whether it's a school project or complex professional project. On PCBWay you can share your experiences or get inspiration for your next project. They also provide completed surface mount SMT PCB assembly service at the best price and ISO 9001 quality control. Uh, visit www.pcbway.com for more services. The device is really very simple to make and consists of a few components. Arduino Nano microcontroller, SI5351 signal generator module, next LCD display with ST7920 driver chip, Rotary encoder with push button, band selection button, and RXTX switch. And now let me briefly describe how the device works. Immediately after switching on, the display is initialized and then the working screen appears. The starting frequency is entered previously in the code and in this case it is the 40 meter amateur band. The frequency is changed with the rotary encoder. The tuning step is selected with the encoder knob and can be 1 kHz, 5 kHz, 10 kHz, 1 MHz. 1 Hz and 10 Hz. With this button we can select one of 20 band presses as well as the generator function mode. This is generator, generator function. Operation range is from 10 kHz to up to 200 MHz. In the code we can set the intermediate frequency uh, offset plus or minus for use in super heterodyne or other type of radio receivers. It also has a selector for RX 
TX mode of operation, which is ideal for use is in homebrew QRP transceivers. This VFO also consists a bar graph uh, type. Bar graph type is S meter. The signal for the S meter is fit to the A3 analog input of the Arduino. This input has adjustable sensitivity. The gain must be adjusted in the sketch, accepting signals from 500 millivolts to 5 volts maximum. There is also a small tuning dial. A more detailed description of the method of operation can be found on the outer's page. And now let's do a short test to see if the output signal corresponds to the value presented on the display. For this purpose I will use an oscilloscope. I will start with low frequencies. For example 200 kHz. The real output signal is the value presented on the display plus intermediate frequency. That is 600 55 kHz. As can be seen, at lower frequencies the signal is rectangular and with increasing the generated frequency it gradually turns into a sinusoidal as a result of the slow transition from low to high level and vice versa. However, this sinusoidal signal is not a problem at all, at least in radio engineering, where I most often plan to use this device. In fact, I plan for my one of my next project to be simple direct conversion receiver with this VFO presented in this video. And finally a short conclusion, this is a cheap and easy to build VFO device that is almost indispensable in radio engineering, especially in do-it-yourself radio receivers. I installed the device in a suitable box made of a PVC material and then covered it with colored self-adhesive wallpaper. And credits to the creator of the original project, Julio Cesar, Cesar Sound.